The Today Show has a report about the hot new consumer product on the market that uh, everybody is raving about, apparently. This, this is all completely news to me. I'm not even pretending to be out of the loop to be cool or something. I really didn't even know. I, I, I didn't know that this was a thing. Apparently, it's a thing. There's a, a cup, um, a new cup. Actually, it's not a new cup. It's a cup brand that's been around for 100 years. But recently, people are very, very uh, determined to get their hands on this particular cup. Here's the Today Show with the report. The hot gift drawing screams and sobs of joy. Uh, she was and all this hysteria over a cup. I got a Stanley! The Stanley Quencher Cup, that is. Sold in over 100 different colors, the $45 reusable bottles are flying off shelves. The hashtag Stanley Cup racking up 6.7 billion views on TikTok with videos of fans collecting them, decorating them, naming them, even camping out for them. So it's almost 3 o'clock in the morning. People lining up overnight at Starbucks and Target stores to snag a limited edition version. I got a kind of blue! Aaliyah and Sarai Dives Cups runneth over after unwrapping theirs on Christmas morning. Why are you so obsessed with these cups? So... Everyone in school basically has them. Usually I don't drink a lot of water, but like when I have this cup, I drink like more water. Believe it or not, the Stanley brand has been around for more than a century. These cups used to be favored among construction workers, but in 2017, after a popular mommy blog posted about them, the company introduced new pastel colors and sales skyrocketed from 73 million in 2019 to 750 million last year. Stanley's CEO spoke to CNBC's Make It. So it was a slow build over many months. And then you could see that the waiting lists began to grow. Adding to the hype, viral videos of the cup's apparent indestructibility, like this one that survived a car fire. Well, that's good. I mean, it's important to have a cup that can survive a car fire. I mean, you yourself probably won't survive the car fire, but at least your cup will be okay. And that's all that matters. Your cup will survive. Your cup will live on to tell your story through the ages, I guess. So this is a new sensation. It's an insulated cup. Um, I mean, that's all it is. There, it's an insula- there are millions of insulated cups on the market. They're all the same. The, the Stanley Cup is not functionally different from any other insulated cup. But this is the one that everybody wants right now. And why do they want it? Uh, they don't know. They, they, uh, they, they couldn't tell you. Um, but they'll camp out overnight for it. They'll camp out overnight for a cup. And they want it because everyone else has it, which, which by the way, from, from a, a child, as we saw in the Today Show report, you know, asking children why they want the cup, for a child to say, oh, I want it because all my friends have it. Like, that is understandable from a child. Now, what I don't understand, first of all, is like how... What's the background? I always want to know what's what's going on behind this. What's the behind the scenes story for how those two random uh, little girls ended up on the Today Show to talk about their cups? Like, I, I assume a Today Show producer would have had to contact those girls' mother and say, "Oh, we can we have your kids on the show to talk about their cups?" Um, so I don't and I don't know why you'd agree to that as a parent, but in any in any event. Uh, it's one thing for children. It's another thing for adults. But this is what they're doing, and they're waiting in long lines for it. Uh, and there, are, there are there are a lot of videos like this. So here's one of a very long line of people at Target waiting for. Apparently, it's a specifically a pink Stanley Cup. They all want a, a pink cup. Is the is the one that everyone wants the most. Even guys, even 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 men want the pink cup. And then an argument breaks out when a group of young guys who, again, for some reason, want a pink cup. Uh, and they cut in line, and it starts an argument. And let's watch this. They're like you. Yeah. Okay. Keep talking. This is gonna go mega viral. I'm good. <laughs> so these two got these three cut in line behind the rest of these people who are all here waiting. So I'm just gonna protect the collectors and the people who rightfully get here. Bye. So 
line etiquette. If you wait, it doesn't matter. She's gonna bring out the video proof, and that's what's gonna go on. It's good. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter to me. I'm just here to advocate for the people who are waiting. You can tell me anything you want. It's good that we have a line judge here. No, I'm not a line judge. I'm just, like I'm just a decent human being. Okay, I'm a decent human like, being who waited, and I no, I heard this gal behind you wait a long time, and she was unhappy. If you guys want to watch this jokester on live, Ray is sunshine on TikTok. Uh, God, I, I hate everything about this. This is everything I hate altogether. You got a bunch of mindless morons waiting in line for some consumer product. They're at Target. You got a guy cutting in line. You've got a woman taking a video bragging that it's going to go mega viral. Everything. Now, normally I would say that line cutters are the scum of the earth and deserve to have their voting rights taken away. Except in this case, which they do, but in this case, everyone in that line should have their voting rights taken away. Now, I know that I, I say this about a lot of different people that should have their voting rights because there are a lot of people that should have their vote. There should only be like five people in this country that have the right to vote at this point. Um, but but th- at least we could start here. Like if I was in charge, I would just show up anywhere they're selling a Stanley Cup, I, anybody in line, I'd say, okay, what's your name? You can't vote anymore. You're done. You're banished. From, you'd never, you're never allowed to vote again for the rest of your life because you're away. Like m- maybe... If there are two people, like if you're waiting in line and there's two people in, and you're waiting in a line that's three people long, I could accept that. But you go to the end of that line, like how do you, you walk in and you see that line, how do you not just immediately turn around and say, oh, the line's this long for a cup? I don't, I'm not going to wait this line. And then you, how, you say to yourself, okay, you know what? I'll, I'll do this. This will, be, this will be my day. I'll spend my day doing this. Put some prep in your step with Good Ranchers New Year New Meat Special. Delicious, safe, and convenient meal prep is just one box away. 2024 is your year to ditch the mystery of the meat aisle and get American meat delivered right to your door instead. When you subscribe to any box of Good Ranchers, they'll add over two pounds of pre-trimmed, better-than-organic chicken breast to your order for free. Not once, not twice, but every order for an entire year. Good Ranchers chicken will change what you know about chicken. It's pasture-raised given zero antibiotics or vaccines. It's so tender and juicy, you won't believe it's the same meat you've been eating most of your life. Stock your fridge with easy-to-prepare, clean, delicious meat all year long. Not sure which box to choose? We'll try their brand-new Weekly Essentials box full of pre-trimmed beef and uh, chicken as well that helps you uh, meal prep so you can save time without sacrificing flavor. Go to GoodRanchers.com, use my code WALSH to enjoy free chicken in 2024, plus an additional $20 off your first order Change the way that you buy meat by switching to Good Ranchers. Subscribe today and use my code WALS to claim over $200 in free chicken and New Year savings. GoodRanchers.com. American meat delivered. And those cups, by the way, are all like 50 bucks. I looked it up. Unless you get them on the secondary market for $10,000. So we've got inflation. We have people that are having trouble making ends meet. Uh, The economy's in the toilet. And yet, people are also spending 50 bucks a pop on a trendy cup. And the thing is, if you were to ask any of the people standing in that line, you look at all the dead-eyed and dazed people in any of these lines waiting for the Stanley Cup, none of them would be able to explain why they want that particular cup. If you went up to them and said, what are you waiting in this line for? Oh, I want the Stanley Cup. Why that cup? What do you need that cup for? Uh, I don't know. It's a cup. They, They don't even seem excited about the cup. They're not standing there with wild anticipation for their treasured cup. They're just there. It's almost business-like, as if they're required by law. It's like you, you'd think that was a line at the DMV. You'd think that people are required to be there by law, but they're not. They've decided to spend their day doing this for a cup. What would a Stanley Cup fan say if I were to, because this is a cup that has fans, if I asked them to explain their fascination, what would they say? Oh, I like it because uh, it uh, can hold liquids and it can keep my coffee hot. Yes, and, and you can go to Walmart and find literally hundreds of cups that perform both of those functions just as well. In fact, the first function of holding liquids, I got news for you. Every cup on earth can do that. Find any cup at all and it can hold your liquids. Or it's not a cup by definition. 
And as far as keeping it warm or cold, that that's an insulated cup and uh, and uh, any cup could. Look, I know this is nothing new. These pointless trends and consumer obsessions. Uh, I lived through the Beanie Baby fr- craze of the '90s. Okay, so uh, I know all about it. But it is uh, it is it's just pathetic. Even so, a cup is a cup. So get over it. That is, unless it's a leftist tears tumbler or a uh, sweet baby gang insulated mug. Now, these are real high quality cups. Now, these are cups that you should pay a premium for, and you will if you go to dailywire.com slash shop, which you should right now. Thanks for checking out this video. If you'd like to listen to my full podcast on the go, you can check out the Matt Walsh Show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.